when I was born, I never had perfect vision, quote unquote, or 2020 vision. Um, but uh, yeah, so I had the glaucoma, which is an eye disease. And then by two, uh, I lost all of my vision. My feeling about Roy's work is that it's definitely liberating. Initially, when uh, he told me about it, I, I don't know, I kind of spent some time sort of trying to, like, make up in my mind, like, how it would work. I try to, you know, visualize it and... And I don't know, it just, it just wasn't working for me. And, and, and eventually I just let it go and I just said, no, I don't really know what to expect besides, you know, what I was told. It was just kind of like, well, you know, we're gonna check out a, a you know, portrait of me and then just, uh, I guess, like do what I feel based on, 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 on the portrait. My color of choice is blue. The reason why is because when I was a kid, my sister, I uh, always liked blue, and she always told me that I look good wearing blue. My feelings about art have changed over the years. I kind of had a negative feeling towards it when I was a kid because I actually set off an alarm because we were at a museum and I, st I started touching some type of sculpture or something and then an alarm went off and experiences like that, I kind of had a negative experience because, you know, I couldn't touch things and so on. Some of it was what I think people see when they see me, but others was just like more so, these are just human parts, you know? Back to the whole, like being able, not being able to feel it as I do it. So that made it hard um, because there were some parts of it where I would do it and then I'm like, okay, did I already fill in this space or Am I semi-painting over what I already did? I think it's whatever people take it as, you know? Um, it's, I think it's in the eye of the beholder. My name is Romeo Edmead. I was born in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands, but uh, I've lived in Brooklyn since I was two.